Right now, the alley between Market and Court Streets has been completely uprooted. The construction began at the end of August. KTVO has been in downtown Ottawa for over 60 years, sharing a parking lot with the Canteen Alley. But with this construction, things have been a bit of a nuisance. We've lost our parking, they shut off our gas, we got big piles of gravel and dirt all over the place. It has not been pleasant. Construction process is never pleasant, but we understand that when it's all said and done, we're going to have this great thing in downtown Ottumwa. It's going to look great. It's going to be a central feature for people to come enjoy. So ultimately, we're, it's worth the hassle it is over the next couple of months. For the canteen restaurant for which the project is named after, they've been having a lack of customers lately. General Manager Lindsay Newland says although the construction workers have been accommodating and made sure there's still a path to the front door, that path changes day by day, deterring customers. Newland says despite all this, the pros still outweigh the cons. What we hope to get out of this is uh, just to create um, a better atmosphere so the canteen can be a special highlight because we really do bring a lot of travelers to Atamwa and so that way we can put on a, um, a really good face for, for the rest of the surrounding community. Genius Landscape Architect is the group redesigning the alley. Principal Landscape Architect Brett Douglas told KTVO the renovations will provide residents with a safe, walkable space. This is just another one of those uh, corridors uh, where we can create uh, that amenity to kind of reactivate the, the alley, uh, offer pedestrians a, a place to congregate, to eat lunch. The alley will have better lighting and will feature two public art pieces. Douglas says the project should be completed by the end of December, with the art pieces coming in the spring. Until then, businesses like KTVO and the Canteen Restaurant will just have to make do. Reporting in Ottumwa, Aish Menon, KTVO News.